this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries, and this is not a horoscope, so it is an energy reading, which means this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, but it's also for Leo, Jupiter, Mars, Mercury. Wherever Leo influences your natal chart, you can take these energies and themes and apply them. If it doesn't fit, don't try to squeeze it. It's not for you and just let it go. Um, there is always an extended reading. So this is the Oracle card reading, but I always create um, an extended reading with a full tarot card spread and a, a romance reading. Uh, these messages come to you, and I'm sorry, and that link is in the description box below and in the comments below. If you really love this video and you really love this channel, please do subscribe to the channel and like the video and then share the video to help the channel grow. Um, that is my goal. And, um, thank you so much for helping. Um, what was I going to say, Leo? Losing words already. Not necessarily unhappy about it, but, <laughs> but I, but I am. Um, um, now let's get right into the reading. I know, I know, I know, I know I'll figure it out as it comes. <laughs> as I know I will. Leo, Leo, this energy is for you. Crowning your reading today. Act as if. Chameleon spirit. Five. So shedding of old skin and coming out of a phase of maybe skin that was too tight for you. Almost feeling suffocated and feeling like for some reason, you weren't allowed to live at the capacity or the way that you wanted to live for fear, for restriction, for financial hardship, whatever it was that was constricting and restricting your ability to live out loud and be what you really want to be. Leo, this skin is about to fall off. It's about to come off. It's about to shed. Even if you're shedding it because you're scrubbing it off, you're getting rid of it. Something is coming to light and I think it's basically what has been growing underneath for a really long time. Hopefully that is something that is thicker than thick skin, which is just this incurable and undeniable sense of yourself again. I know that the past six months has been really difficult for you because I've been getting these readings and you have been challenged in ways that are the most challenging to Leo, which is how you feel about yourself and, and how you see yourself. Maybe picking yourself apart or even wondering if the decisions that you made were the right ones or were good ones or even, and you know, people say this is impossible for Leo, but that's not true at all. Are you good enough? Am I good enough? You know, am, is what I'm giving enough? Um, but this is definitely the energy of finally being able to shed that skin, that skin that was weighing you down and was that too thick for you to thrive in or even breathe in is now falling away. Um, yeah, this could also be the energy of fake it till you make it. <laughs> and maybe you have incorporated that as part of your survival technique and your mechanism for moving on because you do have that incurable spirit of, you know, even when you don't believe you believe that type of energy. So, um, maybe you've been faking it till you make it right now. Or um, maybe you are shedding the, what, the skin that you're shedding and the heaviness, excuse me, let me refocus, and the heaviness that you're shedding is people that were not sincere or were not supportive. And getting those people in out of your life, uh, clearing them off as if they are old skin that you are shedding that you don't need anymore because they're, they're really just um, cramping your style and uh, making you itch that type of energy. Um, either way, you're definitely getting rid of something that, that isn't really you, that doesn't, that doesn't need to be a part of your life anymore. It could have had a function at one point and that's okay. Like, that's okay. Like, like sometimes dude, we fake it till we make it. We put on the smile until we actually feel happy inside. That's legit. Uh, let it shine is also coming up in reverse. And we'll take that as part of the crowning energy. There still could be part of you that feels muted. Like when you talk or when you speak, you're not being heard or you're not being given the full um, credit that you deserve. Uh, this energy of trying to shake that feeling. Trying to not need to be in the spotlight or finding out finally who is authentic and who is not. Very difficult sort of undercover work. 
I still feel predominantly like this crowning energy is you feeling like you're not being heard. And I'm, it's hard for me to get this energy out. It's hard. Like the, the messages are coming out in bits and pieces, um, fragmented, not... Yeah, not, not wanting to really come out, Leo. Hold on. Start, because I don't want to I don't want to shuffle for the whole time. Um, time for healing and then also open to infinite possibility. Being shut down by a poison that was in your life, and it could be a poison that was coming from the inside. This could be a toxic way of seeing yourself, a toxic way of your ego, maybe your ego getting in your own way, or somebody's ego getting in your own way, getting in your way. Um, a toxic ego. Um, this feeling of it poisoning the situation and actually, actually being the reason why things weren't going the way that they were supposed to, because for whatever reason, Leo, you... Um, you you were you were dealing with an ego that was out of balance that was <laughs> really messing messing things up if this was your ego then it was definitely an expectation of of getting credit for things that really um maybe you didn't deserve credit for or taking things to an extreme putting yourself into debt putting yourself um um, promoting yourself as one thing even though you weren't like letting what you thought of yourself or how you wanted the world to see you become what you put all your energy into as opposed to those things underneath like actually becoming very very good at what you do actually focusing on training and working hard and focusing on the craft instead of the glamour right? And this would be the energy of focusing on the glamour. So if this is not you, this is somebody in your life. I'm just saying this is an energy that's in your life that was really bringing you down and shutting off opportunities for you. And maybe, just maybe, this is you now finally realizing it. Uh, there's a sense of this being out of control. The snake in reverse is definitely the toxins are still in you or this kundalini energy. So it could be over promiscuity being too promiscuous, um, maybe using promiscuity as a way to make yourself feel better as opposed to um you know um as a, as opposed to just accepting your aloneness and and uh being by yourself for a while this energy of just overdoing it or overindulging in some way it's kind of like kundalini energy being out of control so your demons getting the best of you um yeah Ooh, and this gives a whole new, like a whole, sheds a whole new light on this energy of, um, like, it's almost like the sh the skin that you're shedding and the fake it till you make it is something that you didn't choose. The skin is starting to peel off. The facade is starting to come off. There's some sort of, um, fakeness that is starting to crumble and be revealed. Um, maybe by doing some introspective work or definitely by digging underneath the surface for answers, finding things out about somebody in your life or people digging beneath the surface to find out about you and finding and uncovering some things that weren't so flattering or weren't so great and trying to sort of dismantle the image that you created for it. But guess what? If the, the image was, if the image and the glamour equaled the reality, you wouldn't be able to really find dirt, would you? That's what I'm talking about. It's like instead of cleaning out the past, all you did was all you did or the, the okay, let me just say this right now. These, these messages could be totally reversed. This, you could be dealing with somebody like this. So all this energy did, instead of cleaning out the sickness, instead of cleaning out the dirt, all they did was put a layer layers of gold upon it. This is like building your castle on sand. This is like like covering up acne, not even by trying to like, you know, proactive it. You know what I'm saying? By instead just trying to cake it with makeup, watching all these makeup videos on YouTube, trying to make yourself look drag queen glamorous, but on the underneath there is this out of control sense of why aren't you dealing with the sickness? And you're actually cutting yourself off or this energy is actually doing itself, it's undermining itself, right? It's self-defeating energy. Um, oh, more in reverse. Armadillo spirit setting, yeah, setting healthy boundaries, but you're, but this is not setting healthy boundaries. This is 
overburdening boundaries or boundaries that are low and non-existent and not putting the boundaries there at all, which means you're allowing too many people into your world that probably don't deserve it and being weighted down by the heavy burden that ends up being dealing with people that are, um, are, are using you or muddying your waters. Central energy is reclaim your power. So at least the central energy is a consciousness and awareness that this is going on. This could be you spying all this. This could be you watching it. This could be you finally finding the evidence of it that you need to be able to make yourself feel like, oh, at least I wasn't crazy. Um, um, at least now I can sort of like, at least I feel validated about what I've been picking up and what I've been feeling. So this is really uncovering the truth about something or reclaiming your power by realizing that this is what's going on inside of you, that this is what's been happening, admitting it to yourself and taking the first step because admission is the first step on the road of, on the road to, um, getting yourself back to a healthy place is to admit that you are part of the problem or your behaviors are part of the problem. You could also be dealing with somebody who is struggling, uh, struggling with these realities. This is the energy of eight, which is destiny, um, which, which lends me, lends me to think like, um, leads me to believe that this was a really challenging situation that you had to be confronted with in order it, it it's a benchmark in your life it had to be reached this is a reality that you had to see in order to be able to move on and grow um then we have black bear yeah this is take time out this is definitely the energy of overwhelming sense to heal this is shamanic energy of healing healing but listen it's healing your spirit in order to heal your body so a shaman doesn't just work in the realm of medicine he works in the realm of spirits and spirit work and how negative entities or negative spirits or un an unbalanced spirit can manifest itself in physical ailments or illnesses so if you've been dealing with some sort of sicknesses or some sort of challenges this could be overcoming them um going after them attacking them healing them this is that fierce ferocity of mama bear energy hold on mama bear energy and a mama bear will never ever let a mama bear will protect at, at any cost and all costs. She's ferocious when she does so. So this is attacking the problem once you recognize it, right? And finally being willing to go after it and commit yourself fully to the healing process. Um, yeah, you ain't playing around. This is, this is taking root, going underneath the surface, ripping up the skin, breaking the bone to reset it and heal it. This is no holds barred. I'm not messing around. I'm not playing. I'm tearing down whatever this negative energy is that's coming into my life. And I'm, and I'm even taking responsibility for the fact that I probably should have built up walls to keep it out to begin with. This is really getting down into the nitty gritty and going underneath the surface and making the decision. It's time to take out the garbage. Last but not least, this is a sense of time to let go. Yes, yeah, something has been building up underneath and it has been uh, clogging up your pipes. Something has been staying around for too long, being stuck, staying stagnant, taking hold of you and not being addressed, allowed to say, basically rot, rot in its own grave, but somehow it's not dead. It's like zombie energy, um, but the zombies haven't reached the surface. This is the energy of something. Uh, yeah, like, like think about the tunnels that groundhogs dig and it being just filled with gook, right? You're not breathing down there. You're not able to move. It's like, it's, 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 it's like cleaning out your arteries almost something like something that has been, um, gnawing at your heart, but you not wanting to address it. So you're, you're having heart problems. So if you've been feeling like you've been shutting down emotionally lately, or you've been feeling like something is really ripping your heart in two, especially if this is actual medical, because with bear here, sometimes it's actual medical, get yourself to a doctor and start trying to dig into these problems because there is an underlying issue that needs to be addressed that could be threatening your, uh, um, health. Yeah. Health. And if this, like I said, if it's, it could be, it could be spiritual health that's threatening your physical health, or it could be vice versa or both. So be aware of that. This is actually, 
getting some insight and finally being willing to, this is like insight coming out of the dark, being able to see what really is the problem. And that's why you're taking back your power. Dragonfly spirit, truth transcends illusion. The grounding energy here is very unsettling. This is Aquarius energy, but this is truth being repressed or suppressed, pushed underneath the ground. And so that also makes me think of, in some ways, you're still not willing to face this, but it doesn't matter because spirit wants to come in and intervene on your behalf and like break through that stubbornness and be like, no, you really have to address this issue. Um, it's hard because it's, it's, uh, the truth is having a really difficult time getting through because every single time it's countered by a different story or another layer of makeup that's trying to hide it. <clears throat> so this illusion is going to fight really, really hard. This could also be the sense of if you're being extremely emo, if, if you're feeling extremely emotional this week, it's like those emotions themselves running wild and being what is, um, those emotions themselves being what is the distraction and what you can't, it's like wanting the truth to come out, but the, the, the fog is too thick because right now you're too scared or you're worried or you're concerned and you don't know how to deal with all of this and what's causing all of it. So it's a little bit too hard to handle right now. Spirit has a plan. This is also the energy of eight. Two central energies, the energy of eight for you. Really good. In other words, this is all destined. These were all challenges that you had to face. It's almost like, remember the little guy from Hercules that Danny DeVito did the, the, the coach, did the, did the voice for? It's like he's a spirit is there coaching you. He's intentionally being hard on you to put you to this test and put you through this, um, getting you prepared for something to level up and get grow stronger. Spirit has a plan. You're not alone in this. You're not. And this is also seeing into the future uh, and let spirit be your guide. Your call this week and your saving grace this week is to have faith. There's changes coming. And maybe it's these changes that you don't agree with or changes that have to be made that you're not happy making. Um, it's essential in order to keep in alignment and on the path that you're that, that you're aligned with that's going to make you feel happy. So this is about finding that internal compass, that, that meter inside of you that says, but am I happy? And how long has it been since I've actually been happy and been content with my life and feel good about my life? Because this whole reading implies that there is a major unbalance and that happiness is something that's eluded you for quite some time, even though on the outside you were looking good and talking loud. Hold on. I'm going to flip the camera around. So here we have um, the question of this energy being very disconnected from spirit. And it's almost like spirit gearing up for the energy of the tower. If you don't decide to make this change quickly, a tower is going to come in and make it for you. Um, how long? I'm going to ask you that question again, Leo. How long has it been since you've been truly happy? And if you tell me oh, just yesterday, I'm happy all the time. Well, then this reading is definitely not for you because this is for Leo's or you're dealing with somebody who is miserable in your life, you know, and, and it's starting now to impede and flood over and affect how you feel. And maybe that's what you've been like, your life is good, but this other person in your life, uh, you've been trying to like, you know, almost gloss over the cha their chaos with your happiness. Be like, oh, my life is good, but my life is good. But guess what? There's this energy in your life that needs healing and needs addressing. And if it's not addressed, spirit's about to intervene and change things on its own. Let's go deeper into this reading um, and where this is taking, like this, re where this situation is headed. I'm going to do a full tarot card spread, Leo, and I'm also going to go into your romantic reading as well. I'll see you guys in the extended. That link is below.